Good morning, and Wii U. Welcome to the Tuesday morning edition of the Wii U Report. Uh, today is March 16th, 2021. Um, you know, for Santa Clara County, it's actually the one year anniversary of the shelter in place. I thought it was only gonna last two weeks or some shit like that. Really, was it two weeks? I don't remember. But on that point, uh, we got, I remember it being, you know, around May when it finally really sank in and um, they were extending the shelter, you know, for our own safety, of course, because um, our local governments really cared about us. But, you know, to be honest, uh, California and Santa Clara County were one of the first to really ramp up the stay at home, social distancing, wear a mask, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's just kind of wild to think that, uh, I remember, so in May when they, uh, extended it, I remember talking to my boss at work and, oh yeah, you know, we'll be back in the office by June or July, maybe August. And then, you know, it just kept going on and on and on to where we are now, a year later, we, you. So, hey, why are we here? Why am I here? Why am I making this video? Uh, well, it's kind of been a goal to create a podcast, make some videos, talk some shit, um, say something funny, um, express myself, and uh, share my view on the world. We you. Uh, I think I actually had some notes. So my green book is the answer because this is where I put all my ideas. We you. Shout out to my homeboy, Crew Jones from RVA, sending me delicious beers from the answer, the veil, triple crossing, etc. cetera. We you. So, I'll actually share something I wrote in my idea book. It's not my journal. This, this friends, this one is my journal. I got my big chicken sticker from Hen House, a beautiful 10% double IPA. But Hen House, you're lying. It's not a dippa. I mean, it's a tippa, bro. I mean, seriously, anything over nine and a half, 9.75, we're talking triple, okay? I like it though, that you try and call it a dip, but it makes us feel a little more um, restrained when we're, when we're quaffing this amazing beverage, we owe. Shout out to Elf, assholes live forever. Krill was here as a beautiful human being. He's on his own path. And that's, that's what I wanted to talk about. I, I, you know, purpose of the podcast is it a public journal? No, I don't know. Maybe. I want to share my path and my process for achieving goals. There you go. Uh, you know, I've been focusing on focusing lately. Um, it's not the easiest thing for me to focus. Uh, I, I, I tend to be driven by distraction. Um, driven by curiosity. Um... So, actually, lately I've devising uh, plans to help me uh, avoid less. Um, one of my major crux in life, using that word correctly, I don't know. Uh, but sometimes uh, I can be driven by avoidance. And a lot of times I use my phone to avoid but that's not what's happening here. What's happening right now is I'm just talking and making a video. So, but what I'll do is, you know, I'll just do laps on my social media. I'll check the news all in between working while I'm working. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I spend more time on my phone than I do actually working. Um, but when uh, 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 the shit hits the fan and it's deadline time, I'm ready to go. Go the distance with some endurance. Wheel. 
Um, but yeah, uh, so what I've been doing um, at night and preferably even a couple hours before I go to bed, I put my phone an arm's length away. I was listening to the powerful Joe Rogan experience. Um, he had some guest on last fall. I forget the dude's name, but one of them talked about keeping your phone an arm's length away from you. You know, and after thinking about that for a couple of months, I actually put it into practice. And that's when I came up with, you know, uh, you know, I like to call it a compulsion um, that compels me to grab my phone, start scrolling, go to Facebook, go to Twitter, go to Instagram, repeat. I don't know, could be 15, 20 minutes, could be a half hour because there's something that I need to know or there's something that um, needs to be seen because I haven't seen it all yet. And, uh, you know, at first it was, it was, it, was um, it felt great and then it felt weird. And then my mind uh, kind of was like, what the fuck, bro? Where's our phone? We can't, you know, we can't scroll. We can't see things we've already seen. We can't search for certainty. So I embrace a little uncertainty in my life. There could be something going on. A missile could hit the house and I wouldn't know if I don't have my phone. I mean, that's okay. Whatever. I'm okay. I'm willing to accept that. Um, yeah. And, you know, after about a week, um, I really started to settle into it and it actually felt a lot better. I felt like I had more time. Um, I'm reading more. I'm journaling more. I'm, you know, just doing a lot of other things more because I'm not um, using valuable time and energy to wallow in shit I can't control. So, uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now as far as that. And on top of that, um, I'm trying to work out, I'm trying to get my fitness in line. Uh, it was a goal for me from the beginning of the year and I'm not, I'm focused on, I like food. I like to drink beer. I like alcohol in general. Um, but I also uh, like to believe that, you know, everything in moderation, including moderation. Um, uh, there's a great podcast I listened to that kind of touched on that. It was uh, an episode of The Drunken Taoist. I want to say maybe it was episode... 74, I can't remember, I'll uh, put it in the notes or some bullshit like that, um, but I actually, it was the Drunken Taoist, it was with uh, the the middle finger of the gods himself, uh, Daniele Bolelli, and uh, the great and powerful Rich Evers, telling you that uh, corporations are not people. And the wonderful and powerful special guest, Robert Subiaga. Uh, that dude's interesting. Flips my mind. Really makes me think. Um, I like his perspective on life. And even, you know, I think that episode came out six years ago. And I listened to it again last year. Probably more than once. And I actually got more information out of it than, than any other time I had listened to it. So uh, that particular episode really speaks to me. They talk about philosophy, life, and the life of a 14th century Zen Buddhist monk named EQ. EQ's legit. Um, he cared about getting laid and sake and practicing his Zen and not fucking pushing it on anybody else. Sounds like a really, really nice guy. We you. So in any event, that's where I'm at, and I'm in the garage, uh, the garage, the bar, the gym, uh, the storage area. Um, I like to come out here first thing in the morning um, when I finally take action and get out of bed. Uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of motivation, but typically I kind of wait for the motivation to kick in uh, after I've taken action. Because um, 
first thing in the morning, and I'm, I'm motivated to stay in bed. It's fucking warm. It's comfortable. I've got the cats with me. My honey's right next to me. Why would I want to get out of bed? Fucking you know, work. Got to got to exercise. Um, like, like I said, I'm trying to focus on my fitness, trying to get in shape and, uh, lose fat. Uh, I'm not necessarily focused on fat on, on weight loss. I want to focus on fat loss because I'm fat. Uh, I weighed in at about 297 and a half this morning, which is actually pretty good. Um, yesterday I kept my calories kind of tight. Uh, I think I consumed 1800 and I burned 500. So net 1300 calories. But the day before I had a reward day. I had a, I'm going to enjoy this day. And I had fucking chicken waffles. I had beer at the beautiful Alpha, Alpha Acid Brewing in Belmont, California. I saw Booby and Jady the Shady Lady, some beautiful, wonderful people I haven't seen in a while. With my honey, of course, we were all there. Um, but it was pretty tremendous. So I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I even had ice cream at the end of the night. I think I ended up having like 3,700 calories. I didn't burn any, so I had a, I had a, a surplus of 1,400 calories. And um, yeah, so I, you know, I wasn't trying to make up for the day before because I was bad. No, I was just like, hey, uh, it's Monday. I'm going to pull back a little bit. You know, I could, um, I can try and balance out the day before a little bit, but I'm not, that's not the ultimate goal. But if it happens, then that's cool. Um, you know, one thing about Wii U, myself, Wii U, and Brett, uh, we are one and the same. It's like the, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like the Holy Trinity. The Wii U, the Brett, and, um, I don't know, something else. The universe. Wii U. Um, you know, I've, I've been watching some, some real, uh, powerful and, uh, dedicated and disciplined videos on weight loss. Uh, dudes that are driven and, uh, action masters and they make it happen they stick to a plan and they get it done i like that i like it a lot i like discipline uh discipline equals freedom shout out to jocko willing um but also at the same time i'm really a fan of joy and pleasure i don't have a fucking problem with it um i just think that it's important to um knowing when is enough and actually knowing when is enough in, in, in your current state. So like last night, you know, I had a, a glass of wine. Uh, Saturday or Sunday all day, I probably had five, five and a half, let's call it five and a half beers. Um, that's pints. Um, let's be honest. Um, no, actually most of them were 12. Some of them were, well, Two pints, two 12 ounces, and then maybe like four ounce of, uh, of like a 13% beer, but who's counting? But in any event, I'm a big fan of joy and pleasure. And, uh, you know, I don't want to, I want to embrace a life that works for me and that, uh, is aligned with my values. I value discipline. I value joy. I value pleasure. I value action, you know, I, I value communication. I, I value being open and honest. I value being vulnerable. So, uh, we, and, um, I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, but I should. So maybe I will. We have a wonderful day. Um, get after it, make it happen. And you know, um, uh, we, okay. I think that's good.